Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we'll be seeing about Mirage So <clears throat> what is Mirage in short if i tell you it converts text into 3d model objects okay so it uses mesh algorithms um, so what are mesh al uh, algorithms they are algorithms which are used for uh, generating uh, 3d objects so uh they generate component by component in, in a uh, mesh like structure and then you can see a lot of pixelated 3d kind of object okay so i'll show you how those objects are and where are these guys used okay so these are some of the gen uh, generations which i did over a text i passed it a text of coffee mug and it gave me this coffee mug okay yeah it's good straight away you can pass this coffee mug to a 3d printer and it will get you a coffee mug printed the algorithm used here was pointy and the guidance kept was base b so all, so all these are uh, mesh algorithm ter uh, terminologies okay they also provide you different options to create uh, like you can create them in a uh, fortnite fashion or skyrim fashion or uh, minecraft fashion okay so if you might have played minecraft and fortnite so there is a typical genre of uh, 3d objects in those games okay then uh, you can download uh, this object also gif uh, glb there are some other extensions also okay now this is i tried for uh, kangaroo although it doesn't looks like a kangaroo it looks like a, a dog with horns on it okay so this was a wrong render which it did here also it is giving me two options only this was palm tree which i tried so why it's not loading yeah it's loading now this this site uh, this product actually seems a uh, bit slow also but i think it takes these algorithms are very heavy uh, computationally so it takes a lot of time to to generate so uh if i select a style uh called as fortnite minecraft so the ge the generation time is even 1 hour up till 1 hour also they have a, a generation time then these are different parameters uh which you can keep for a hyper tuning your parameter like polygon reduction uh adaptivity scale sharpness threshold volume detail we'll come to this later but before that i'll have to i want to show you something Uh, where is that uh, wait a second yeah uh see so if you must have seen my previous video on uh, lexica so in lexica we did text to text to image uh, conversion via lexica's aperture version 2 or stable diffusion 1.5 now here also they give a option that uh, you can upload an image for reference to the uh, model to uh, generate the uh, 3d structure so this is one of the output which i got from lexica for lionel messi i uh, gave it uh, this image as a, uh, a reference uh, image prompt and the text prompt was lionel messi and this is how it generated the effort was done uh, quite right it, it, it is on the same path maybe i'll have to learn its prompting more better to get the better to get a better result but this is what my generation was when i passed it an image so let me show you how it works actually and how they are generated uh, i think i'll have to go to the ha huh. so this is what the 3d playground is this is the, uh, these are some of the generations which are already done by people so of the top rank generation you can see that the generations are very bang on you can see a car here the mesh prompt given was only car and the algorithm used here was uh, get 3d okay so you can very beautifully see this car upside down also it is very accurate okay share the results on twitter or if you want to download it there are different options of downloading also 
आई डोंट नो वॉट दिज ऑप्शन आर एल ए बी डो जे एल टी एफ एम टी एल एंड ऑल आई थिंक द गाइज हू वर्क ऑन ब्लेंडर एंड अनरियल एंड यूनिट इंजिन हू वर्क इन टू गेमी गेमिंग इंडस्ट्री एंड मेटावर साइड दीज गाइज मस्ट हैव अ बेटर आइडिया अबाउट ऑल दिज एक्सटेंशन एंड ऑल दिज एलगोरिदम्स आई कमिंग फ्रॉम ए आई एम एल साइड दीज टर्म्स आर क्वाइट न्यू फॉर मी दिस इज अ डोनट एंड अ लोफ ऑफ ब्रेड लेगो मैन ओके दिस ऑल्सो वॉज नाइस चेयर पाइन एप्पल ओके अ बॉन्साई ट्री दीज सीम्स इन टू इट्स क्वाइट एलिमेंट्री स्टेजेस बाय सींग दीज इट सीम्स लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क नीड्स टू बी डन बट या इन मेनी ऑफ दी गेम्स लाइक माइंड क्राफ्ट एंड ऑल यू सी ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन दिस फैशन ओनली If you might have played Minecraft, there are they are generally pixelated only, and this was an effort to make a Charmander pumpkin. Yeah. So if you can see here, in, this was created using Pointy only, and it it was given an initial image. So our Lionel Messi was not bang on the point, but here they passed the uh, initial image this. and the algorithm was pointy so pointy is the fastest working algorithm which they have it gives the generation in 3 minutes only and it was bang on okay so let me show you how to generate images okay so here is where you can uh, pass your image whatever image you want to pass let's let me do one thing let me pass something so these are some of the outputs i tried with lionel messi let me try with virat kohli i am quite sure it won't work very nicely but let's see let me pass the text prompt as virat kohli the estimated time here is 3 minutes because of uh, algorithm selected is pointy if you select some other algorithm like as red minecraft fortnite kind of fashion or 3d print also they have a 3d print also it will take more time so if you you, you can see it takes 10 minutes for realistic for minecraft it takes 2 hours skyrim also it takes 2 hours 3D print also it takes two hours. So the other things are quite complex. Okay, so I'll just keep it to pointy to uh, give you a demo on it. You uh, you can select your model size, small, large, medium. Generally, large will give you better outputs. The guidance scale we have already talked about what guidance scale is in my pre uh, previous video of of Lexica AI. If you have not searched about it, I'll recommend you check on Lexica AI and how to learn OpenAI's playground. there will be a, a lot of videos which i'll be making on prompting and the uh, prompt engineering kind of products so i'll just say uh, check this videos and it will be a learning curve for you also so uh, long short story guidance is just a indication of how seriously the model should take these inputs into consideration if the guidance scale is high it will take it it will take it see uh, seriously if it is not it won't take it seriously so i'll, I'll keep it high only okay guidance scale as 10 i give i get some free credits so i have 44 uh, free credits up till now i i actually had 50 out of which i i use some of them while creating creating my coffee mug and all those things okay this is my advanced settings you know done and let me do a submit Now it will take time. Here uh, uh, it is generating, and here you uh, you can keep a track of uh, how much percentages work has been done. Okay, so meanwhile we'll see some other functionalities which it has. You can do a filter by size. They have they have given a chatbot for support also. Okay, uh, it's it's a live chatbot. Okay, so there's a humanly person who will be talking with you. Okay, uh, you uh, you can request for demo. then uh, these are some normal profile settings they have the twitter handle discord handle minecraft uh, results i'll show you the minecraft results okay then uh, texture generation i'll show you this also then they have the documentation set also if you want to use this uh, 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 apis into your code they have some documentations also and the documentation is, is also good okay So, if you want to use straight away uh, the 3D assets you uh, create created by Mirage, so you uh, you can go here. If you want to use the stable diffusion endpoints, uh, you can come here for the Dreamboot uh, endpoints. You can come here, and for the mesh 
texture mesh endpoints you can come here they have given a very detail and a very good uh, documentation on the base of all the different apis okay they are also hosted on uh, hugging face ha huh. so these are some of the minecraft results okay so if you must have played about minecraft so you must be seeing this kind of environment and this is how it works okay so so this was the pumpkin which we saw okay so okay it's 40% let's just see some meanwhile we'll see about uh, 2d generation also i'll show you the 2d results how it works so 2d uh see now what's the difference between the results coming from lexica and the results coming from mirage okay if you can see the the style of results here see the style the square kind of a fashion and here you have so it's a 3d thing embedded into a 2d okay so for such kind of results uh uh mirage is, is a better platform as compared to lexica i feel that okay you can see many games also who are built in this kind of fashion lots of games are there who are built in this kind of fashion this gives me a feel of the uh uh and nintendo games which we used to play right let's see some results yeah these are some office designs which were created okay the model used was low poly office okay and uh, this was the text prompt given okay now you can if, if you want to play with this results you uh, you can click on a remix prompt and then you can come to its uh, uh prompting tool side okay here also it is doing some remix so here also it, it has the same uh, kind of feature you can pass your prompt here okay you can pass your image also okay for initialization then you can pass a negative prompt and set your guidance so what is negative prompt negative prompt as i told in the lexica video also it it indicates what things you don't want into your into your into your generation now where is my virat kohli here finally the output is generated this is how the output looks um it's it, it has taken some of the pixels from the original image but it is far away uh from the uh, real input i feel that uh all uh, better prompts need to be passed that what uh, that is what i feel and uh, i feel that even uh, might be a case that your pointy might not be a good algorithm for such facial kind of 3d generation okay okay so some amount of work needs to be done here whether how we can improve this results whether you can use a better algorithm or uh, better prompt but i feel that even by giving a better prompt it won't create a very significant difference i feel that it's more on the algorithm and maybe the uh, matureness of the algorithm also on the other side when we see about different objects and alls it is uh, doing good uh, but yeah let's see with time i i'm quite sure they will improve a lot here So that's it with this guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned to AS for more such amazing tech stuff take care peace out